Are you listening? All right, I don't want to waste too much time here in the beginning because we have a total of five pages. Five pages of gaming news to talk about, so let's jump straight into the first story. Xbox has doubled down on cloud gaming. Now, if you missed it, Xbox posted an article this week titled, Xbox is building the gaming platform for the next 20 years. And this was written by Will Tuttle, the editor-in-chief of the Xbox Wire. And a key thing to note is that this article explains that Xbox just got done celebrating their 20th anniversary, which, round of applause for Xbox, 20 years, there were moments I did not think that you were going to survive past the red ring and Xbox One, but you're here. Congratulations, mazel tov to the family, and Phil Spencer, when are you coming on the show? Now, in this article, Xbox begins to lay out like five things that they're going to be focusing on changing. The first one is probably the biggest. An Xbox app is coming to Samsung smart TVs as part of Samsung's gaming hub starting June 30th, which I understand we use this word a lot, but this is earth-shattering in the world of gaming. Essentially, if you own a brand new 2022 Samsung television, you can install an Xbox app and play games via Game Pass and not need a console. How huge is that? And shout out to Tom Warren over at The Verge who posted a video of the Xbox TV app where he shows pairing your controller to the television, logging into Game Pass Ultimate, and of course, the standard cloud gaming interface which we've come to expect with Game Pass. And just for shits and giggles, I went ahead and just looked up how much one of these televisions go for. Base model, 55 inch, Samsung 2022 model, we're looking at about anywhere from $1,300 to $1,400, which means zero chance that this show can afford that. We make like 300 bucks a month here on the Nerf Report, and there is zero chance that we can afford it. And then I was like, well, maybe I will just buy it for the channel. And then I remembered I'm married, and I also have a kid now, so probably not gonna happen. Anyway, that was not the only Xbox Cloud Gaming news that we had as Xbox has officially expanded Xbox Cloud Gaming to new countries, including New Zealand and Argentina, which good for the hobbits, right? Good for the hobbits. They finally get to play Xbox Cloud Gaming and Argentina, don't think that I'm forgetting about you, even though you have a very suspicious amount of Germans down there. How did all these Germans get down here and when did they come? Anyway, I'm sure Wolfenstein is available on Game Pass and you can play that via the cloud, so Argentinians, celebrate! Microsoft also announced that they are bringing a new gaming experience to Edge and Windows 11, which include things like optimizations for window games, a new HDR calibration app, a brand new Game Pass widget, a new controller bar that makes navigating the menus so much easier, built-in clarity boost for Edge browsers, and a brand new game menu. Bringing us to the final two announcements, and this next one I think is right behind that coming to TV announcement as being like, this is awesome. Xbox revealed that they're going to be offering more to Xbox Game Pass subscribers, specifically announcing that later this year, Game Pass Ultimate will begin to offer cloud support for games bought outside of Game Pass that are already in your library. Round of applause for the folks at Xbox. This is what I have been begging for with Xbox Cloud Gaming. Yes, Game Pass is awesome, but I also own games on the platform. Let me go out, buy a game, and be able to play it. However, definitely worth pointing out here, it says select games, so we don't know which games will be allowed or will be included. The other thing to keep in mind is the Game Pass subscription is still required, so it's like, yes, you get to buy your own games and play them, but you still need to pay for Xbox Game Pass Ultimate. So maybe one day we're going to see a world where I can buy a game on Xbox and stream it without needing a subscription. Xbox also revealed a brand new thing called Project Morecroft, which is coming to Game Pass, which is a new discovery tool and curated demos for Game Pass subscribers. And the final announcement from Xbox this week is that the design lab has been updated with brand new colors and they're expanding its availability to 11 new countries. Design lab, of course, is where you can create your own custom controller. Checked it out a little bit. Uh, it's cool. I've just never been one for like custom designs or anything on a controller. Like I've got one controller that I made myself, but other than that, I'm just like, yeah, I'm, I'm good with standard colors. But at the end of the day, what killer announcements from Xbox and the Xbox Bethesda showcase is still this weekend. Like these announcements could have been great for a showcase and everybody would have been like, wow, that's fantastic. But Xbox still had more to announce. This is just gonna be an epic weekend for Xbox and congratulations to the team and clearly getting a ton of support from the top. As the CEO of Microsoft, Satya Nadella tweeted, gaming is for everyone, everywhere, and we're committed to bringing the joy and community of gaming to billions of players around the world on Xbox, PC, and other devices with the power of Xbox Cloud Gaming. Sure has come a very long way from Microsoft being like, we don't really consider ourselves a gaming company. Anyway, bravo Xbox. Good luck this weekend. Can't wait to see what you guys have to announce. Hey, thanks again for checking out our channel. If you like what you saw and you want to see more content just like it, which 
who wouldn't, uh, hit the subscribe button right there. And while you're down there, hit the like button. Maybe even consider becoming a Nerf Report best friend, just like the people listed down below did. In fact, don't you want to see your name there? I know I do.